Hello guys, this is Gamebro. Uh, I wanted to welcome you in this playthrough of Abe's Odyssey, one of the greatest um, side-scrolling 2D games on PS1 that I've ever encountered in my life. I will be playing it on the computer, um, PC, or whatever you call it. Uh, that's the Steam version. It was quite cheap when I got it, and um, just nostalgia, nostalgia wise, I could not let it slip, um, therefore, I purchased it. It's an awesome game. Uh, if you want to watch the cinematics, they're always available on YouTube. Uh, I'm not going to do it here uh, simply for the fact um, that I want to show you play for playthroughs uh, rather than um, anything else. So, let me just set the timer because I don't know when to stop my video um, so I'm just gonna step right in I'll skip the cinematics which you can watch on in your own convenience and I'll just show you what the game is and what it looks like follow me so basically you are this little guy you are meant to rescue all your friends from the evil guys in the meat factory that want to make you into lollipops uh, awesome the game in a way is complex um, but I've heard that a blind kid has managed to complete it because it's really heavily sound based um, so you've got that going as well uh, there are a lot of secrets, there is 99 of the little guys to rescue and surprise surprise there is a secret in the very first screen right underneath that barrel it looks bloody hard and it, I'll put it that way, it is not easy the controls are okay. quite responsive um, okay. and they okay. are logically placed on the keyboard or maybe it's just me getting used to them a lot Wait. Okay. You'll see what I've told them to wait in a second. Um, okay. One annoying thing Fine. that I've noticed okay. about this game, or, you know, have been really aware of, wait. is that you have okay. to ask them to follow you twice Fine. to do certain okay. things. I will show you in a minute as well. Wait. Okay. So now, uh, where you can see the chipping sorts of stones or sand or whatever you can jump down or jump up um, and there are these little guys called slicks so you jump down the platform and I can either chant him just um, sort of possess him uh, or you know, sort of drop okay. him there see another thing um, he won't go um, until I ask him to follow me again. I've oh, waited too long. Um, follow me. Okay. Follow me. Okay. And then he basically drops down. Wait. Okay. Um, they take a little while to sit down again, so I literally just jump the platforms, and that resets me. Okay. their actions. Um, so I ask him to okay. follow again, and then I chant over the portal to their home world, where they can safely return. Uh, yeah, as you guessed, these meat sauce you cannot touch, uh, as well as that laser. There's a secret here, I've checked. Ouch. I always do that. Seven years or eight years, I've been playing this, and I always do this. Uh, uh, yeah, it works on that sort of isometric, um, different sort of levels. Of perception. Whenever you see that little um, icon popping up, it means that it's sort of quick saving, and if you die, you have unlimited number of lives you will respawn at. So basically, as a slig, um, you can shoot, you can hit these guys. Which I don't recommend you do because after a few times they'll die. Uh, and they have their own game speak as well, which you'll um, see the use of later on in the game. Aye. Aye. And then you can sort of destroy them um, <laughs> after you're done. 
So in these couple of um, screens there are uh, three secret levels. So basically these are little bombs you can pick up and throw and use. Um, after a few beeps they will um, explode in your hand. And always, um, if there are two slings on the platform and you start chanting, um, one will shoot the other. So these guys cannot climb, so if I drop down, I cannot go back up again. Oh, basically, by the way, these um, things won't let me chant. It'll, I'll show you in the next one what they do. I'm just going to grab another bomb because I need it to unlock my way into another secret. I don't like this one. I'm gonna put it there. I hate it. Simply because it's repetitive. Hello. Hello, follow me. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Wait. By the way, um, okay. the only way they will drop is if they um, if they are running, uh, which you can force them to do by either running Hello. yourself Hello, or um, okay. sort of rolling on the ground. But not Follow always. Me. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Wait. So okay. I'm stop him right there. Make that go slower again. Hello. Hello, follow me. Okay, follow me. Okay. Come here, wait. Little green okay. Just gonna wait for him to sit down. Pull the other one through. Hello. Hello, follow me. Okay. Okay, set them home. And climb back through. Actually, I'm gonna disable that. You'll see why in a minute. Uh, it would have been much more difficult for me to do. <laughs> One annoying thing about A is if you respawn here, all the secrets have to be done again. Yeah. I'm going to jump cut it. Uh, I'm going to do the secrets after I finish this video, um, since you've seen both of them in action, uh, and I'll show you the third one, actually, sorry. I'll show you the third one in action, just to make the videos a bit shorter. So I'll show you the last secret. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to show it to you in the next video since I'm running out of time. So, in a bit.